you know, I've said this joke uh, uh, probably hundreds of times now, I'm gonna tell it to you one more time. My mom used to cut the top corner of the turkey off before she put it in the oven. And I always ask my mom, why do you do that? And she goes, well, because grandma did it. So I go to grandma, I say, why do you cut the top part of the turkey off? He goes, well, my great grandmother did it. You go to your great grandmother and you go, why did you cut the top part of the turkey off? And great grandmother goes, oh, because it doesn't fit my oven. My, my oven's too small. And all this time, all these generations were doing it the wrong way because they didn't know why they did it. So it comes back to my original question. Why do we do it this way? Do we know the thought process behind it? Printing the purchase order. So every single time we made a PO, it was integrated science policy to print out a PO and go put it in the front. And what that was, was the girl in the front could then take the purchase order, take the receiving packing slip that she received and then match up and make sure everything was right. If she made sure everything was right, this is my favorite part, she would throw it away. If it was wrong, then she'd bring it to the accountant's tent and say, hey, this doesn't match with this. But if it matched, then she'd throw it away. Don't you think it'd be the opposite? If it matched and it goes to the accounting department to be put in AP? No, no, they just waited for the bill to show up and they just magically paid the bill. So even though we wrote purchase orders, we weren't actually using the purchase orders for what they meant. A purchase order is a promise. You know, I come to you and say, I'll wash your car for $20 and you give me a PO for $20. That's basically, you're, you're promising me that if I do the work, you will pay me $20. So we would do the first half and write a PO, but then the invoice would come for $25 and we just magically pay it. We had no way of proving what we made the promissory note for because we'd throw the purchase order away. We were going through an, a motion just to go through a motion to say that we, we write POs for no reason whatsoever. You know, it, it cracks me all the times in businesses how many times we have some archaic, obsolete thought process that we have no idea why we're doing it, what we're doing it for, and moving on. So as you guys go through the next week, I want you guys to ask yourselves, why do I do it this way? And then the next question should be, can I remove this from my day-to-day -day life and how much will it greatly affect me? Because if you free up time to do something else, you're going to be just that much more productive.